The reason why your funk ain't funky is because it don't bounce. That's all right, though, because we're going to fix that right now. Grab a snack. Come on back. So after about 35 years of playing, my ears are pretty sensitive to rhythm. Sometimes I don't want them to be, but there's nothing I can do about it. And one of the things that really kind of bugs me, that I see a lot of drummers do, is that they're running when they're supposed to be skipping. Few things can really ruin the feel of a song more than a drummer that's playing straight when they're supposed to be swinging. One of the most important things that you are supposed to be able to do as a drummer is to adjust your degree of swing when you need it. Now when you're playing funk grooves, hip hop grooves, stuff like that, a lot of times, you know, the swing is very important. Without the swing, there's no bounce. Without the bounce, there's no funk. Now lately I've been seeing a lot of drum cover videos of my song Broadway Hustle. That's off my play along album, Beatdowns Pocket Builders. If you don't already have that, make sure you grab it. Or if you're a Drumeo Edge member, because a lot of y'all have been grabbing it from Drumeo if you're an Edge member. Which by the way, if you're not already and you want a 30 day free trial, link will be in the description box. We've kind of partnered up. So if you wanted to give Drumeo a shot, you can get a free trial for 30 days. Just hit that link in the description. But yeah, a lot of you out there have been covering the tune. I applaud all of you guys. Good job. There is one problem though. A lot of you are kind of missing the mark on the feel. That is a very heavy swing element to that song. It was written that way. It was supposed to be a nice bouncy funk tune. But a lot of you are just kind of playing it with a straight feel and it's not really sitting the way it should. So, this video, real quick, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to practice your bounce. Now, like I said, there's a very heavy swing element to Broadway Hustle, and if you're not putting across that feel, it can really make a difference. Check this out. As you've heard, it's a small detail that makes a big difference. So you got to know how to adjust your degree of swing, how to create that bounce when the bounce is needed. So I'm going to give you a little tip, a little something you can think about when you're playing the swing feel. And it's all about just having the right sort of rhythmic template in your head. Now, if you've seen my video before where I talked about the hip hop groove, I talked a lot about the triplet feel, right? Dun, dun, bang, boom, huh? Right? The triplet is kind of the foundation or the basis for a lot of um, a lot of grooves that need to bounce. But today we're gonna take it a step further with funk. 
And with a song like Broadway Hustle and a lot of other sort of funk tunes that kind of fit that same sort of rhythmic mold, um, what we can do is go from using the triplet to more of like a dotted eight sixteenth type of thing, right? So with that kind of feel, you get more of a skipping motion going forward. And all you really got to do to do that is just remove the second partial of the triplet. So if we're playing like this, one, two, three, uh, uh, like that, we're just going to take out that second element or that second partial of the triplet and you end up with this. That kind of thing, right? So that's sort of the feel. That's really all you need to think about when it comes to playing the right feel to create the bounce. All right, so let me show you how you can take your metronome and use it to sort of help you develop that feel, that sort of rhythmic template in your head, okay? So in this case, we're gonna, um, we're gonna think in terms of sextuplets for each beat. Six beats per beat, or six notes per beat, right? So if we're going one, two, three, it's gonna be like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, that type of thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set our metronome to quarter notes, and we're gonna we're gonna shift it mentally in our brains. All right. What it's gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna highlight or accent the sixth beat of the sextuplet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is a clap along exercise. So if you got a bag of chips in your hand or something, put it down and follow along with me, okay? So we're gonna start this up. And I just want you to clap along with me, okay? Shift this to that sixth partial of the sextuplet. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and a clap along. One, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Keep going. Keep going. Feel it. Feel that upbeat, man. One, three, four. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Your shoulders should be bouncing right now. Three, four. Make the mad face. Like you just smelled something that you ain't supposed to be smelling. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you're bouncing. So after you've done this for a little bit, you're comfortable with it, you know where that quarter note is going to sit. Now you want to take that idea to the drums, all right? Ease yourself into it. Don't get too crazy. All you're, gonna, all you're gonna do when you try this on the kit, just play something real simple. Just boom, crack, boom, crack, boom, crack. We're not trying to learn anything on the kit right now. At this stage, we just want to get that feel burned into our brain. And the idea is when you're just playing simple grooves like this, you got that template in your head. You're swinging in your head the entire time. So even when you're playing just a straight boom, bap, boom, crack, boom, crack, it's still gonna swing. You're still gonna be able to imply the swing because that's the feel that you're getting in your head. So that, when you practice on the kit, looks like this.
Now after you've done this for a little bit and you're starting to get comfortable with it, the cool thing about it is that you can actually take that offbeat note that's playing in your head and you can highlight it. You can land on that note either you know, with a hi-hat, snare hit, kick, toms, whatever. Like the whole thing is to just get comfortable playing around that accent. So you want to start to play fills, you want to start to punch, crashes, all of that type of stuff while that offbeat is playing in your head. So once you hear that, you can't unhear it, right? Whenever you're playing any kind of swing type of groove, any kind of bounce, whatever, you're going to think about that. You're going to think about that sort of sixth partial of the sixth tuplet. That highlight is going to be playing in your head. And, um, and now you're going to be able to sort of play a better bounce when it calls for it. So there you go. Another free tip. You can take it or leave it, but trust me, it'll take you very far in life if you listen to what I'm saying. So that's it. I'm out. But before I go, just got to mention, the sale is still on. We got a summer sale going on in the merch shop. Just type in the discount code SUMMER21. You get 15% off all merch orders until July 31st. Make sure you jump on that. Shout out and thanks to everyone so far that has ordered a piece, ordered a shirt, ordered a mug, whatever you felt like ordering. It helps me keep the lights on here, so I appreciate the support. There's a whole lot of stuff to choose from in there, so make sure you go do some shopping. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. These people will tell you that this is the place to be. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Right there is the subscribe button. Mash that before you bounce. Drop a comment below. Share this video if you dig it. Like, subscribe. Keep bouncing. See you next video.